Hello friends. So once again I welcome you to our YouTube channel. And we were discussing in the last video about your addressing mode. Last we have completed relative addressing mode. So in case of relative addressing mode, we have used PC and the offset. That offset is stored as part of address field in your instruction. Where is your instruction? In IR, right? Then next is auto increment addressing mode. So see, in case of auto increment addressing mode, the operand will be there in memory. The effective address of the operand will be the content of a register specified in the instruction. So basically it is kind of, you will feel that it is kind of similar to your register indirect. Because in case of register indirect also, your address of your operand is a part of a register, general purpose register. So here also, the address of the operand is the content of a register that is specified in your instruction. But data is in memory, address is in a register, right? But here one more thing is there, after you have accessed the operand, after accessing the operand, the contents of the register is automatically incremented to point to the next item in a list. Means whatever type of element the address was pointing to previously, then depending on that type, the length, whatever will be the length, by that the content of the register will be incremented, right? So see how we are going to represent it symbolically is at r2 comma r20 comma r0. What does it mean? Your data is in memory location. Whose ad, uh, your data is in memory location. So what is your effective address? Effective address is a content of a register. Which register here in this example? It is r2. So the content of r2 is representing address of your operand. That is fine. So to execute this instruction, how many memory references I will take? I'll take two. One is to fetch the instruction and one is to fetch the operand that I will add with the content of R0 and result will be also stored in R0. R0, R2 are part of your CPU. But data is in memory so and the address of the data is in content of R2. So by taking that address, we have brought the data. So in that one more memory reference. So total two memory references we have taken. But at this point only will not stop. After doing this, after taking the content of register R2 as your effective address, we are going to increment the R2 value, the register value by some amount. And what is that amount that depends on what type of element R2 was pointing to? If it was pointing to a the data that is of two bytes then we'll increment it by two and if it was pointing to a word and the word length is four bytes machine is byte addressable then we can increment it by four or suppose r2 is pointing to a single byte of information then we'll increment it by one so by what amount we are going to increment the register that depends on what r2 is pointing to and whatever it is pointing to that particular elements whatever is the length by that amount we are going to increment the value of r2 so simply here we will write the plus sign please understand after taking the content of register we are going to update it so your ea means your effective address will be the content of the register only but as part of the execution of this instruction r2 value will be also modified that you need to remember so if in the exam it comes, what is the effective address in this instruction for your memory operand? You need to write this part as well as this part is also must. This part is also must. It may be by one, maybe two, maybe four, depending on the length of the element the R2 is pointing to. So hope this part is clear. This addressing mode basically we use whenever we do pop operation with stack. Because when we do pop, then address is incremented because stack grows downward in the memory. So auto increment addressing mode is used for whenever we are doing a pop operation. Stack grows downward in the memory. Next is, so for this instruction, how many memory references? Obvious answer is two. But if I write like this, see at R1 comma R3 plus, then how many memory references? 
it will be answer will be one for fetch one for getting the data from r3 location then one for writing the result so that is total three memory references will be required hope this is clear then the next addressing mode is auto decrement mode this answer is over this is true already we have discussed this is true then next i am moving to the next addressing mode that is auto decrement in case of auto decrement it is a pre operation that means before using the register content as the address of your operand we are going to decrement it right so see in this mode operand is there in memory obvious effective address of the operand will be the content of a register that is specified as part of your instruction this is fine what i need to remember is before i get the operand from that location that is the content of register before doing that operation before accessing the operand what do we have to do before using it as a effective address the content of the register is automatically decremented to point to the operand in the list right to point to the previous element in the list right so first it will be decremented before after decrementing only it is ready to be used as effective address so please remember auto decrement is a pre operation auto increment is a post operation right please do not get confused and auto decrement basically we use whenever we do push operation because see in your stack this is how the stack was there it was say 1000 it was your 996 then where so right now your sp is pointing to this location that means here some element is there right my assumption is same what length is 4 machine is byte addressable so right now sp means top of the stack contains what 996 now where i can insert one element at address what 992 so first i need to make sp to point to address 992 so sp will be changed to 992 that is a decrement operation after doing the decrement we can insert one new element into this location that is push operation so push operation requires auto decrement and pop operation requires auto increment because see after uh, inserting the element sp will be here so say this element is 30 now i want to perform pop so from which location pop will take place from 992 so you will get the element 30 into some location after that sp will be pointing to 996 so 996 is increment right so it is after taking the operand from location 992 make sp make the register to point to the next element that is 996 right so it's now see i have explained where to use how to use that part is over just see one example add how to represent it symbolically first decrement sign then the name of the register in a parenthesis so here i have written ri that means any general purpose register we can use for stack we have to use sp only so see for this ri so ri can be r1 r2 r3 anything right so how i am using it add minus r2 comma r0 so where is my operand in memory at which location at which location i will get my operand it is not the, the content of r2 please remember my effective address is not this one not at all the first it is it has to be decremented so r2 equal to what content of r2 that will get decremented by the quantity 1 2 or 4 depending on whatever type of element it is pointing to depending on the length of the element it is pointing to right so first we will do this and then we will write effective address equal to square bracket r2 understand so for doing this how many memory references we have taken obviously two one is for fetching the instruction one is to fetch the operand from this particular location data is in memory address is in register r2 reg r2 is in part of cpu so no need to go to memory to get the address address is in cpu uh, cpu's register only but before using it as a uh, address of an operand first we are decrementing that all only we need to remember so this is about your auto decrement addressing mode 
quickly i will explain one simple example so that we can summarize whatever we have discussed so far so i am taking one example this instruction will take how many memory references two if i change the order of the operands it will be three right if it is move instruction it will always two right so now one numerical will do quickly say what is this say in a number of instructions are given to us we need to find out the number of memory references that will be taking right so how many memory references will be taking please understand that whenever we are talking about this instruction each instruction is independent to us they are not related they are simply one one instruction and we need to see how many memory references each of them will be taking so tell me for the first instruction one is for fetching the instruction and in this instruction our assumption is same first part is source this second part is destination so this is my destination where is your destination in memory which addressing mode i am using auto increment so to get the operand i will take one memory reference and to store the result of addition one more so for the first question the answer will be three memory references fine now come to the next one for this sub uh, has 10 comma r2 has 10 means what constant means it is immediate operand where i will get the immediate operand as part of the instruction where is instruction ir so ir is where it is in cpu so no need to go to memory simply perform the operation so only for fetching the instruction so only one then next one is this one is what base index with offset right that the third variety of our index addressing mode so where is your data in memory where you need to send the data of register r1 into memory location given by the address this one right so here also you require two memory references how come it is 1 plus 1 one is for fetch one is to write the data of register r1 into this memory location done next one is and r1 r2 so where is your r1 r2 they are inside the cpu so no need to go to memory for getting the operand or storing the result only you need to go to memory to get the instruction so it will be only one one memory reference done the last one i am coming to increment a so whenever you do increment so for fetching the instruction it is one then you are going to increment a so first you need to get the value of a from memory location a so that is one and where your result will be stored into memory location a because a will be modified by plus 1 so result has to be written back into memory location a so that is memory write operation so that is one more memory reference so as a whole this takes three memory reference hope this part is clear next video i'll be coming up with many more numericals on your addressing mode because this is a very very important topic from our exam point of views university exams or maybe your uh, gate exam point of view so in my next video i'll be discussing numericals on addressing mode thank you